So I'm here with Caden Woody, mechanic for Woody's Racing, and he's going to kind of go through kind of what is a general breakdown about how to, you know, summarize or put away your sled for the season, and then at the tail end, what you normally do when you want to take it back out for riding. So yeah, so what we do here at Woody's Racing, um, obviously we've been racing for a long time, kind of have a few tips and tricks for you guys, but uh, uh, what I do is I pull the spark plugs out, take like probably a half a cap of oil. We run nitro lubricants. Uh, put some two-stroke oil just in the top of the cylinder. It's so nothing rusts up, nothing gets all gummed up. And their oil is super, super good. Uh, we have been on it for, I think, six or seven years now. And we won't change. This is their oil is super clean, super, super good. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's what I do is I to winterize it. I'll do that. I'll put the... I'll put just a little bit of oil on top of the cylinder. Um, I'll spray the whole sled down and including the engine bay with high gloss. Um, kind of makes it to where it doesn't doesn't rust up or um, you got odds and bolts that are better steel, so they will eventually they'll get rusty. But um, uh, I spray the whole thing down with the high gloss and wipe it down with a rag microfiber. It looks clean. It looks good. Then that way. Or somewhere when you have some buddies over, they can kind of see your mm -hmm. kind of see your sled, and be like, "Wow, that's really shiny." And then you say, "Hey, like this is a, it's a high gloss." Um, their chain case oil uh, is what we run. I do a chain case change every every weekend after every single uh, weekend on Taven's sled, and also her practice sled. Go probably do er that every couple of weeks. Just depends on how much we practice. Um, uh, I fill the chain case, flush it out, and. I spray brake clean in, uh, clean all the oil out, any any metal shards or like any just debris, stuff like that. Really no metal shards, but just debris at least. Uh, brake clean takes it out. It's really abrasive. Um, it works really good. But uh, other than that, um, I'll do, I'll take the air out of the shocks or it depends on where the sled's at. The sled's sitting on a lift like this. I'll just leave the air in the shocks or at least take some out. Then that way you don't blow the seals mm -hmm. out of them. Is that the main reason why this is for kind of protecting seals and stuff? Yeah, yeah, taking the taking the air out just then that way you're not blowing seals out of the shocks and then then that way you're kind of ready to go for the winter if you don't have time or or the opportunity to be able to to send your fox or sorry your shocks off to fox or to a, a shock builder. We send all of our stuff up to fox and Jap. Uh, he takes he takes care of us really really super good. Um, other than that, I mean, pretty much just making sure all your nuts and bolts are tight, chain case is tight, um, going through everything, uh, cleaning. Cleaning is a big thing. We, we really try to make sure our stuff is clean and ready to go for the next winter. Then that way there's no ifs, ands, or buts. And I always stick like a piece of tape on the seat or the handlebar here, but like mm -hmm. this, this, this has been done. Uh, I haven't I haven't done this one yet because this one isn't quite done yet, but um, yeah, I like to Try to be thorough with our with the level that we're at and try, yep. to go, try to go from there any other just general engine maintenance items you usually like to hit on more than um, you know beginning and ends of seasons well uh we rebuild the sled Taven, she's not as hard as like uh, a bigger bigger guy such as pro or polite <laughs> longer races <laughs> yep. and practice time but uh we usually like to do every 10 10 to 12 hours on rebuilds uh is about what we're getting out of them and then pretty much every rebuild we do reads uh yeah, new new reads, and we check the cages, make sure cages are good. But um, other than that, I mean, Articats are they're the I want to I want to kind of talk them up here. They're they're <laughs> definitely the the toughest built sled, and they're, li they're the lightest built sled by I think thirty or thirty five pounds. Really, and they're the strongest sled. So huh. I mean, I mean, I ride I ride an Articat too, so I can't. Uh... That's good. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, they're I mean. At the level that we're at with the with the racing, it's just we try to be yeah. as thorough as we can and try to be as as preventable, you know, preventable maintenance that we have to. So mm -hmm. if we can stay on top of it and do a little bit here or there instead of a lot at one time, then yeah, you're, for sure, you're, you're doing good. Other than that, I mean, yeah, pretty much just just general maintenance. Make sure you guys stay on general maintenance. Then also, I stick a, a stable in the gas tank or like sea foam type type mm -hmm. stuff. That way, you don't get all gummed up and. All your stuff, or or you can drain drain the fuel out. Uh, I still got to drain the fuel out on this one. Then I'll throw a little bit of stable in, probably a 
I think a quart just fine. Yeah. So um, that that definitely helps for next year when you start it out. Yeah, and then so basically next year when you take it out for the or the upcoming season later yep. in the fall, basically the shocks is about the main Shock, thing. Shocks and put some fuel in it, and honestly, they're very wipe, wipe a little bit of dust that's been collecting over the summer. That's about it. <laughs> and they're ready to rip. Yep, pretty much, and. Uh, Obviously, like make sure like all your nuts and bolts and stuff are tight in the skid. But other than that, yeah. that's pretty much about it. So yeah, pretty pretty plain and simple. A couple hours worth of work goes a long way at the, at the for end sure. at, for the next season. So yeah. what do you think? Does he do a good job, David? No. 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 He could be better. <laughs> could be better. Hey, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. He's never perfect. He could be better. <laughs> Sibling love. What can I tell you? Oh yeah. <laughs>